After the first quarter of the season, let's take a look at the top five breakout stars in the NFL this year. Let's start with number five, Chris Godin from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What a season he's off to. Four touchdown catches, including this one on Thursday night against Dante Jackson, the Panthers' best corner, taking the lead right there on that Thursday night contest, coming off his best game as a pro last week against the Rams when he had 12 catches, including two touchdown catches. Now, the other one, let's take a look at the Jacksonville Jaguars' second-year star-wide receiver who leads them in receptions right now, DJ Chark. Already with three touchdown catches this year, he didn't have any as a rookie last year, but quickly becoming the number one wide receiver for the Jags and rookie sensation Gardner Minshew, and he's got the fans in Jacksonville standing on their feet. And then how about the Raiders starting tight end, Darren Waller? He's bounced around for a little while, but he's third in the league right now in reception, and he's more than just a receiver. You can put him at the end of the line of scrimmage, and he's a good blocker, and they use him like that, but he can beat man coverage like he does in the first quarter of the opening game of the season, beating Yadam right there for a 25-yard game. Hasn't found the end zone yet, but that's coming soon. And then how about Evan Ingram? He's in his third season, but he's on pace right now to catch over 100 passes for the Giants. How about this one against the Bucks? 75 yards to pay dirt. He finishes in the paint with this house call, but Evan Ingram looking like he's ready to become a sensation in New York. And then my number one breakout star, Shaquille Barrett. Yeah, he's been in the league a while, but never has he done anything like this. Spinning on the right tack, getting to Jared Goff, getting the ball out, nine sacks, three forced fumbles, and an interception. And this one, to put this game on ice, where the Bucks with Andamakan Suvert picking up the loose ball off the fumble by Barrett, puts up 55 points, the most ever, in the history of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Shaquille Barrett, the breakout star of the NFL through the quarter pole of this season. Through the quarter pole of the season, my top five rookies in descending order starts with Terry McLaren, the wide receiver of the Redskins, who has instant gas when it comes to the routes. He can just separate and run away from almost any defender like he did in the Eagles in week one on this 69-yard touchdown pass to put the Redskins up 17 now. He's got 16 catches and three touchdowns, and he's averaging over 16 yards a catch, sitting out week four with a little hamstring problem. But what a start for Terry McLaurin. He's followed at number four rookie by the center that's going to snap the ball to Kirk Cousins right here, Garrett Bradbury, starting every snap and making Dalvin Cook the second leading rusher in the NFL. And against the Falcons right here, he's going to lift the nose tackle up for Pat Elfline to take and get up to the middle linebacker. So that when Cook gets through that line of scrimmage right here, he doesn't have to worry about the middle linebacker. Bradbury can get to the second level as well as any center in the business already in the first month of his season. My third best rookie so far is the play of Brian Burns, the outside linebacker slash defensive end of the Carolina Panthers, number 53. Started all four games, 11 tackles, two and a half sacks, but he's got elite movement, elite movement in the run game and the pass game. Here he is beating the right tackle of the Cardinals. He's got suddenness and quickness, and then when he closes, he closes in a hurry, taking Kyle Murray down. But he's rebuilt, helped rebuild this Carolina defense right now, and he's gonna be a force to contend with for a long time. My second leading rookie right now is the play of Josh Jacobs. What a dimension he gives to the Raiders. Running power football, starting on the opening Monday night game of the year, running right through the arm tackle right here of Von Miller. And just on the baseball diamond of the Oakland A's, carrying the Broncos with him. He brings power, averaging over 15 carries a game and five yards a carry right now. He's exactly what John Gruden thought he was and what he needs in his offense. And my number one rookie through the first month of the season is the mustachio, Gardner Minshew. This is the game winner in week four against the Broncos at mile high. He fakes it to D.D. Westbrook. He fakes it to Leonard Fournette, and he throws a strike over the middle to Joe O'Shaughnessy. One of seven touchdown passes in the first month of the season. Only one interception. And he's got the Jaguars jumping with joy right now, the way D.D. Westbrook was on that touchdown catch by O'Shaughnessy. When you watch this play here, just the confidence that he exudes with this team. I mean, mechanics here, the fake to Didi, the fake to Fournette, and then the strike over the middle. Averaging almost 70% completion right now. Highly accurate, fundamentally sound, 
and he's gotten the Jaguars back into contention in the AFC South. My top five rookies for the first month of the season.